back up. Rent. Yeah. It cut loose. She's cranking now. Okay. So oh, shoot. Now the tree's got the other lane. It's coming this way. Has it got crack in it? No, not a crack. But now it's got a different lane in it. Oh, poor Barbados cherry. Now I saw that banana tree and I did nothing to fix it. It had a lean on it because the weight of the rack. And it's down. Well, I guess, I don't know. There's no water down the side, so that's good. Hey, hens. Oh, I haven't got your food yet. Hold on. Tomato cage is over. Uh-oh. Look at that. Over five inches. Like six inches of rain. So we did have rain. Look at all the stuff over. Okay, I'll have to put that up. Jack says, do not go out there in the yard. Everything looks pretty good over here from the distance. Oh, I probably should have propped up these, too. Buddy, come on. Buddy, no. We got power. Our son's got power, but our friends, a couple sets of our friends, do not have power. All right, you guys. So, it is now early afternoon. Um, the last time you saw me, it was like 9.30 in the morning. And then Jack took some video footage that I haven't gotten to view yet. Um, so anyhow, buddy, buddy needs to go exercise. He's just going stir crazy now. Just a lot of little cleaning out of the oak trees, as you can see right here. I'll have to pick all that up. Oh man, they lost the fence right there section. So buddy and I are on our walk, and uh, I just want to show you. Ooh, the wind is blowing. I'm trying to blow my head off. This is the fence that was the inspiration for our three, three rail 
fence in our front yard. Uh, they put theirs up first, and when I saw it, I was like, we need to do that. That just looks like a little horse farm to me. <laughs> The front of our yard has a lot of debris in it. A lot of it very rakeable and uh, you know, easy to pile up. Uh-oh. Buddy, what's wrong? We shouldn't go over there, should we? Something's wrong in your path, isn't it? Got some oak debris. All the good trees. The precious trees are standing. The, um, the olive rolled, but I'm sure that's just because the container rolled. The papayas are both are up. The moringa's up. The guavas are up. Everything looks up. Looks good. That banana that I lost, not not of the Grand Nains, but of the Dwarf Cavendish, that was all my fault because I saw that it had a big lean. The rack had been pulling it over and I did nothing to prevent and, and preventative medicine for it. We ended up tying the staghorn again late last night. Wow, it lifted right up at the corm. The corm. Right there. Boom. Over. It wasn't even fully uh, coming out yet. It kind of got stunted with that. It, it started to push with Ian, but it got stunted with the drought that followed Ian. Oh, yeah. They got fringed up, didn't they? Looks like cowboy fringe. Anyhow, I think we're going to keep the video semi-short. <laughs> And uh, I'll just send it out to you guys. But um, so far, everything looks really good. We came through with power. Our son and his family has power. I'm going to get out of here. And um, we just got debris. A lot of people without power, but I think it could have been so much worse. I, Ian definitely was worse. Uh, but thank goodness the Southwest was spared a lot of this. This all hit the Southeast Florida or mostly East Florida, and then Tampa, and then it's gonna go out through Georgia. Um, as you guys probably already are watching the weather too, like me. So now, uh, my Georgia family is now preparing for it. So, oh well. You guys take care, God bless. Let's not do this again this year, all right? Bye. Looks like I'm gonna have to get in that pool one more time this year. That's going to have to come out. I don't want to leave that in there all winter. <laughs>